Welcome everyone to Las Vegas, Nevada and this home for sale here, single story on a one acre lot. 4,540 square feet of living space, four bedroom, three bath. We have a guest house out back, which has been completely remodeled, natural fireplaces. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot to see here and a lot of surprises including this lot next door, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. But this is going to be the main property here. Built in 2000. It's a custom single story home. And yeah, we're about 20 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, 20 minutes from Henderson, kind of right here in the middle. Let me show you how close Las Vegas is. Well, the Strip hop down here so yeah basically you can see the sphere at the end of this road fountain blue there to the right the top of cosmopolitan the delano there so yeah huge lot here on this property and we're just going to take a look around outside the front here and then we'll head inside so pine trees lining both sides of the lot, as well as some in the center here. Spanish tile roof, huge wraparound front porch. And we're right off Gillespie Street, 8671 Gillespie Street. The MLS number is 2586231, listed for $1.8499 million and 89123 here. We do have a six car garage on this home. And we're gonna take a look at that a little bit later. So you can see down the side, we do have a fenced backyard or a couple fenced backyards. Yeah, very unique property. These don't come up for sale very often. These are on huge custom lots here kind of right in the center of old Las Vegas here. And you'll see homes built in all different years, lots not built on. The 15 is gonna be about five minutes this way, so easy access to Interstate 15. This is gonna be the side of the home here. Now we have a lot of natural, real wood doors, which is pretty cool to see. So the lot keeps going back and we'll go back there a little later. We'll see what's behind here. But first we'll go ahead and head inside. Hi, you are currently being recorded. So are you. Okay. Take a look at this front porch from the front porch. Great shade out here. Stucco looks to be in great condition. And plenty of room for some rocking chairs, a table. And it's much cooler here than in the sun. Uh, you can see mountains in the background as well. So a great central location here. And the guest house is a complete house. You have family room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, everything you need out there with appliances as well. And that all looks to be brand new. So we're gonna head back there a little later, but first let's head inside. Big extra wide front door here, heavy solid wood door. and walking in. So as we walk in, you can see very tall ceilings, eight foot ceilings in the home. And this laminate floor, we're gonna see through most of the rooms here. A lot of wood detailed work, which you don't see too much of, and it, and it gives it a really rustic feel. We have a wagon wheel chandelier here, the wood color blinds, 
So yeah, if you like wood look, this is definitely the home for you. So this is gonna be the formal dining immediately off to the left here of the front door. And I love that wagon wheel light here. And if you like my tours, like my content, please just give, them, give me a thumbs up there at the bottom. It takes one moment, helps support the channel. And I really appreciate that. It helps more than you know. So if you can just take one moment, hit that thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So yeah, this is gonna be the formal dining here. And then we're gonna have a step down, drop down here to the right. Total square footage, 4540. The garage six car is gonna be 1190 square feet on that garage. So this is going to be a family room area here or a living room. You can see the stone fireplace. This is going to be a gas fireplace here. I believe it burns wood also. And we have another wagon wheel. This one being a little bigger, I believe. And more of those wood look, wood blinds there. And I love all the wood trim on everything. So this is the sunken family room with the carpet. Carpet appears to be very clean. Yeah, just a very rustic feel to this home. I like it. I like it a lot being in here. And it's definitely different than anything else we've seen in a long time. And it's gonna be a door headed out to the back courtyard area. We'll take a look out there in a moment. But you can see a beautiful wood door and we see a lot of great Finishes with the wood here. And they've left some of the items like this coat rack that kind of match the aesthetic of the home. Back towards the front door and we'll look to the left. <clears throat> so this is going to be the kitchen family room area. Off to the left we do have a laundry room, designated laundry room. You have a rack here to hang all of your clothes. They've replaced the water heaters with a tankless. Always hot. Professional vent. You have your attic access up there as well. And that looks to be fairly new to the home. Water softener loop here. Ready for you if you want to add your water softener. Window looking out over the courtyard, some storage. And it comes with the it says washer and dryer are not included. We'd have to check back on that. If you need them in the deal, we might be able to work it in. Just let us know how you're feeling and we'll figure it out. And that's gonna bring us to the kitchen, but let's check out this little sitting area down here first. We have a couple windows looking out into that courtyard as well. And then we have this brick, another gas fireplace here with the TV mount overhead. Another door headed out back. There's no shortage of exits from this home. We have doors all over. There's another one here to the right that heads out to the second porch and a little stairwell down. So we have three tiers here. I'm standing on the kitchen tier and then you have a step down and then a couple steps into this sunken little family room. And they have four big lazy boy chairs here so you could definitely fit a couch, set this up however you like, ceiling fan overhead. And again, that wood trim just all over the place. What do you think of this real brick fireplace? And there's a lot you could do with this fireplace as well. If I like the look of it as brick. I've seen them paint the brick, finish the brick. You can do some really cool things with that. So yeah, listed for 1.8499 million. You get a ton of house, a ton of space. That six car garage is so rare. We have recessed lighting as well as these hanging rustic lights. And the kitchen here. Yeah, I do like these lights hanging. Those are pretty cool. Samsung refrigerator. Again, it says it does not come with the property. If this is a must have and you wanna buy the home, we can talk about it. Natural wood cabinets. We have a four burner gas range on this massive island. 
Plenty of room for stools here as well. Tile backsplash. Huge window looking out to the side yard there. And I believe you can see, uh, you can see little pockets of the strip in the background there and this white sink, stainless faucet, white dishwasher. And then yeah, the four burners plus the grill side here. Very cool. I wish I had a grill on my on my burners there, my range. And then we're gonna have a GE profile microwave in white, and then it appears to be a fairly new Gen Air oven here. Gen Air, always a good quality there. And we have a few little windows peeking out to the front entrance. So the front door is gonna be right there. So if you have guests coming up and you're in the kitchen, you'll definitely see them walk up, which is just really nice. And then we also have a designated pantry, wood door with the glass insert labeled correctly, and a nice reach in pantry. Actually, I have a shelf up there as well. Very, very unique product here. And I'm loving it because I go in so many of these cookie cutter homes. It's refreshing to see something different. So that's going to be your large open kitchen there. All right. We have these little lamps on the walls as well. Little brass or gold lamps there. Okay, we'll keep walking. So yeah, very tall ceilings in the home. That's going to be that little exit to the courtyard there and we'll head down this way. So we do have these large wooden closet doors in the wood color there. That's going to be your coat closet essentially. And you can fit a lot of coats in there and then we do have a little storage in the middle as well. So you can do linens and coats. All right. We also have a linen closet at the end of the hallway here. I love seeing all these big wood doors in the day and age of all these plastics and fake wood looks. It's nice to see a lot of actual natural wood and in great condition on the wood as well. So this will bring us into bedroom one, a very large bedroom. 12 by 20 here. You can see the wood baseboards, the wood trim on the windows. We have the wood ceiling fan there. Nice pad in the carpet. And the carpet looks to be really clean. And the high ceiling just adds so much to the home. That's something you can't really change. The home is what it is. You can't raise your ceilings you're better off just getting a different house. So it's great to see that we have very tall ceilings in this single story home here. And then a custom walk-in closet as well. You got two racks for clothes, storage for folded clothes, shoes, with the light in there also. Yeah, so that's gonna be bedroom number one. Thanks for being here. Take a moment, just hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss these tours that come out daily. I put out these properties as soon as they hit the market and you don't want to miss out. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get updated right away. All right, we have bedroom number two. Same size bedroom, 12 by 20, big window looking out front. So we have a regular closet instead of the walk-in here and we do have a light on the ceiling fan in this room. A wooden baseboard, same carpet, very nice pad, and same super tall ceilings. Quick look in here. So yeah, same thing in here. We have the shelving with the racks for hanging, folding, versatile. All right. Solid wood. 
Listed for 1.8499, four bedroom, three bath, 4,540 square feet of living space. So we've seen two bedrooms, we've seen some unique features, but get ready for some very unique features. But first, the shared guest bath, as well as the full bath. We have the pedestal sink. So this will be your guest bath, as well as you know the shared for those two bedrooms. Great tile work, very clean in here, clean porcelain tub. We have the window up top, and it smells fresh in this bathroom. I don't know if I'm smelling the zest there, or is it dial? The bar of soap in the corner. But yeah, it smells very fresh in here. Of course, we went with the wood medicine cabinet storage there, wooden toilet paper holder, wooden toothbrush holder, and wooden towel racks. That's definitely something you don't see every day. And a little towel hook, a rope hook there in wood. Wood trim, yeah, excellent. Okay, and we're headed into this gigantic primary bedroom. Again, wooden doors, wooden trim, a low pile carpet here. I love the carpet in this room and it looks to be very clean outside of just some feet prints, but that can be easily fixed. And the primary has a large, brick fireplace as well. Plenty of room for your king size bed, plenty of furniture. This is a queen bed in here with two big nightstands and plenty of space. Again, very tall ceilings. And this fireplace. And it's gonna be a gas fireplace as well. I believe all of these fireplaces will do wood burning as well. Something we wanna check for sure before you fire up some wood in there. But why, why do that if you can just turn on the gas? Some people like a wood burning, I get it. If I'm gonna have a fire, I'd prefer it to be burning wood as well, but that's easily done. You just take out the fake logs, fire it up. And it's easier to start a wood fire if you have a little gas too. Once it gets going, turn the gas off. Into the primary bathroom. Double sinks. We have the countertop sink combo where they're all one piece, which is always ultra clean. A couple original faucets there. And all the aesthetic kind of follows the same theme. The wooden medicine cabinet storage over the toilet with the wooden toilet lid and toilet seat. I have a little wooden storage here over the tub with a large window looking out to Gillespie. And they do have the solar screen, so very private in here. And then this freestanding old school tub. Love to see this. Very, very cool. And of course, a little extra wood down there on this wood laminate. So yeah, what do you think of that tub? What do you, what do you think of this bathroom so far? And we do have this carpet all the way up to the steps here your pedestal and then <clears throat> let me head back this way so we can get a view this side here linen closet plenty of storage there and the shower all fiberglass enclosure, LED and fan above. And then here's your shower, pretty large shower. No shower curtain or door needed, just the open shower here. And it's a little bit hidden. Twenty-four year old home, let's at 407 a square foot. Now the bedroom also has this extra kind of sitting room, office, whatever you want to make out of this. We have a couple steps up there and then this large room here. Door going out back. Ceiling fan. 
I have a big dresser up here. So yeah, you can do whatever you want with this space. It'd probably be my office. Or maybe just a sitting reading room, library, something like that. And a huge wooden door again going into the walk-in closet. And most walk-in closets don't have a big window looking outside, so that's great to see. We do have some closet storage on this side, so depending on how much stuff you have or how much you need to hang up, you may need to put some more racks in here. Yeah, big shelving unit there. Window, a couple of these lights again. We have an attic hatch here as well. We've seen these lights throughout the home also. They match the aesthetic of the wall lights that we've seen. And that's gonna be the primary bedroom. All right, what do you think so far? If you're enjoying this tour, you enjoy my channel. Just give me a quick thumbs up at the bottom there. It really helps me out. All right, so that door goes out to the courtyard, but we'll head out the front door and start checking out the outside. So that's the main house here. We do have a whole nother house to look at. So stay tuned, we'll be there in just a moment. And that house has been renovated. It looks brand new in there, brand new finishes. It's a whole new world. So we'll head that out there in a minute. Let me take the key with me. So yeah, very large stairs and railing going down to the side of the home here. And we'll keep walking this way. So all the doors we see are gonna be those doors we saw from the rooms coming out. This is gonna be that one out of the family room kitchen area. Your AC units on this side seem to be newer. I'm not sure of the year. They don't look original to the home. Maybe that one, but I'm not even sure, but this one definitely not. And we have a couple fenced areas as well. So we have a fence lining the whole lot on this side. We have a block wall on the back side. We have a fenced area here, fenced area here. You could fit 50 cars in this <clears throat> driveway. We have a back covered patio. And this is gonna be essentially the backyard here. And it's all fenced in. We have a few gates going out. These big palm trees, palm trees, big pine trees here. And just a ton of space. Remember, a one acre lot, $1.849 million. There's no HOA here. You can essentially do what you want. And these are horse properties as well. This is going to be a look at the back of the home. And we're going to talk about this lot at the end of the video, so stay tuned and up into the courtyard. It almost feels like the front entrance to the home, although it's in the back. We have these little lamps here and then into this courtyard. Fenced in courtyard, some new plants, some tile work, and this is a great place for a little breakfast table, a little place to hang out outside. You get morning shade out here. And a lot of windows looking in there to the bedroom on the left. So if you looked above, it would be like a C-shaped house. This being kind of that middle empty area on the C. And then another porch. Didn't have enough porches. Here's another for you. Covered patio on this side as well, on the side of the home. This is the door going into that primary bedroom. And I have to get clarification, but I believe this little shed here is on the other property. We're going to go inspect that in a moment. But first we'll check out this garage. So we're going to have 
the garage here and the guest house on the back side of this building. But this is going to be the six car garage. It's a 1,404 square foot garage. I think I misspoke earlier. I read the wrong number to you. 1,404 square feet on the garage. That's why I brought the key. I was afraid I locked it. And here we are. Truck not included. And this is going to be your four car garage here. Four car, six car garage. I'm messing up. There's too many numbers. I can't keep track. I apologize. This is a six car garage, 1,404 square feet. And super clean, very tall ceilings. You can see an F-150 fits easily with plenty of space around it. You could go up to F-350, I think, no problem. If you backed in in this garage, actually probably pulling in forward, you could even get away with it. Garage door openers on every single garage door. So we have two by two by two. And yeah, because this is just a detached garage, you don't have the water heater taking up space or really anything else. It's just all garage. Plenty of plugs, plenty of light. Yeah. And truck not included. All right, so that's gonna be the six car garage. All right. So let's go ahead and check out this guest house and then we'll head over to the vacant lot next door and talk about that. So this is gonna be a little, looks like a laundry room in here. Uh, I couldn't actually access this room, but we do have a water heater in there and actually just the heaters to the home and just kind of a storage space, it looks like. I don't know if you can see through there. But yeah, just a storage space and the heaters. And we'll head around. So still all part of the same lot here, one acre. There's irrigation I see throughout the property as well. So this is gonna be the guest house here, but let's take a look down this side first. See, so yeah, I think the lot's gonna end essentially, well, we'll take a look, but over here we just see the AC unit, a little wall and a fence and then some gardening tools. And this is the guest house. All right. Walking in, so we can see. This is what I was talking about, about the fireplace, being able to refinish it. Essentially the same fireplace we saw in the main living space, but they've painted it all in gray. It looks very nice and pretty modern as well. Gas fireplace there, we have this ashy gray luxury vinyl plank, six inch baseboards, a light gray on the wall, looks very modern and this kitchen area. So the kitchen is raised up. That's about a six inch threshold there. And again, they said no washer, dryer, or refrigerator included. This, this refrigerator looks like it may be included. We would have to get clarification. Yeah, brand new, just installed. Shaker cabinets in white. It's basically a brand new kitchen here. Beautiful granite countertops. We have storage underneath and a place for stools there. Pantry. There's plenty of storage. The microwave, stainless, stainless electric oven and, and range. All Samsung. And then the Samsung stainless dishwasher and a double, ba double basin stainless sink also. And a huge window looking out over the side of the yard. So that's gonna be your modern kitchen. Smells brand new, looks brand new. Then we have a door headed out to the uh, garage side. So if you look there, you can see the garage doors. This door is going to head right out to there. 
And this is great for guests or potential renting out possibilities. There's a lot of, a lot of versatility to this home. So this is gonna be your laundry room and this is massive in here. So very large laundry room, washer, dryer hookups there, the water heater in the corner, which is plenty of water for just this little, well, it's not even that little. I mean, this, this house is very large for being just a second guest house. And it's a true second guest house. I wouldn't even call it a casita because you have full laundry room, full family room, full kitchen and full bedroom here. And this is a very, very large bedroom. This bedroom is about the size of most casitas here in Las Vegas. You have four wide on the closet there, so super large closet. Yeah, just beautiful. This is a ton of added value to this home. I mean, this home alone, just for this house right here, is a lot of money so definitely adds to the value you get the land you get the six car garage you get this entire house you get the other entire house window out of this massive bathroom new toilet new cabinets we have the shaker cabinets the lighting the matching granite undermount sink Plenty of storage plus this linen closet here. And then another sneaky shower. So the shower looks like the only thing they haven't refinished in this home, but I don't know that they need to. Just a very clean, large fiberglass shower here. And there's feet prints, but it's I don't see any indications that anything needs repaired or done. It looks very solid. Yeah, it's gonna be your second primary shower here, if we consider this the second primary. Yeah, so a lot to see here. Okay, so what do you think of this house? You get a two for one special on this home. Two houses for the price of one. All right. Well, make no mistake, you're paying for this house too. So it's two houses for the price of two, but you know what I mean. We'll call it buy one, get one free. But yeah, this is a lot of added value here. And the income potential in this property or the in-law potential is fantastic. Okay, so let's go talk about that other lot real quick. And we're going to head over that way. So this property right here, we're on 8671 Gillespie Street, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89123, built in 2000 on a one acre lot, 1.1 acre lot. Yeah, just so much going on here. So let's head all the way around to the other side. And we'll talk about the other lot. This one's listed for $1.8499 million. Close to everything. Close to Henderson, close to Summerlin, close to Las Vegas Strip. And you really don't have any neighbors to worry about. The lot next door is empty. Actually, two or three lots next door are empty unless it's all one lot, but I'm sure they're one acre parcels. So you have at least two or three here that aren't even, doesn't even look like they're starting any kind of construction. Then you have some, you know, older houses across the street, a little bit of a newer house there with a massive garage. And then you have a palace on the corner over here. I'll show you. Hang on, let me see if we can get over there. So yeah, that's gonna be this house here, MLS number 258-6653 if you want to look that one up. If you have any questions on real estate, want to talk about selling your home, buying a new home, downsizing, upsizing, give me a call. I'm here and I'm ready to talk about your real estate needs. Okay, so there's the palace I was talking about. You can't really outprice the neighborhood. If you completely remodel this house, all high-end features, the value is going to be there. That house is 
Absolutely beautiful two-story, massive house on the corner lot with all the garages, extra buildings. Yeah, and much, much newer. Okay, here we are. So this lot is for sale as well. This lot is for sale for $499,000. It's gonna be 54,450 square feet. It's gonna be this corner lot. We're on the corner of Galepsi and Ford. This MLS number is 2586653. So you do have gas, you do have power. I don't know the extent of that, but I know that next door we have gas and power, so you're not too remote here. Great location. And yeah, the lot's pretty flat as well. So I'm not a construction or grading expert, but looks like there's not too much to do to get this lot ready. All right, everyone, thank you so much. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. Give me a call. I would love to chat. I'll see you on the next one.